Hi, this is Don D. Um, in, this, in this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at uh, just a quick look at the, the new sliders uh, in X6. Here's a little site I put together to show you some of them. Um, on the first page, we've got the accordion. Uh, at the moment, it's showing the access login. But I've got YouTube, blog, and forum. Uh, in other parts of this accordion slider so if you click on YouTube it comes up with uh, a YouTube page and then same with the blog and forum and then you can go back to the access control I've put a, a, a collapse button here as well because because these sliders are so big, it stops you from having to scroll down to look at another one. You can just collapse the whole lot. Next one is just a, a, a slider to go through a, a book. Now, so that's the, the front page. Then you go through the pages. until you come to the end now I've got um, so these pages here next page and I've also put you go straight to the first page or the last page I've also shown it here in lightbox which might might uh, make things a little bit easier on your site. Next is uh, uh, the top one here is a nesting where I've got um, a slider underneath here and then we've got a slider here and here with the with the words alternating and this at the bottom is a scroller slider so you can uh, show text and on this page we've got um, a, uh, a slider, a nesting slider again uh, this one's been put together by uh, Lon here from California and here you've got the main slider here and then you've got another slider on top here and you see that was the main slider moving and then the the slider that's nested on top of the main slider uh, is, is changing as well and it's all done with um, uh, the timings you can set up, set these at now I'm going to show you a, uh, a site that uh, I've been test site that I've been working on for Top Gun, and here I've got a nesting slider on the, the top banner, and here I've got this small picture in the bottom right-hand corner. That's uh, the nesting next nesting slider on top of the main slider with the uh, the banner photos and then I've also got um, another slider over this side for Top Gun quiz and this opens up this page of a, of a slider a panel of a slider and then I've got a button here where it opens up the the quiz in lightbox And at the bottom here, I've got the scroller slider here. And these are moving from bottom to top. Uh, but I'll go through it a little bit uh, in WP. And then I've got the bottom banner, which is a date time um, slider, where you have 
um, the slider with X number of panels within that and each panel is set to show a certain date and time and then it runs through the sequence over the set period that you set right I'll uh, open up web plus and here is the uh, the home page with the sliders on you got the top one here that's the main slider that's the one if I you'll know when you selected a slider because it has the two arrows underneath it where you can scroll through the panels that are on the slider that's panel one two three four and that's the foreground and then here this is the nesting slider which is placed on top of the foreground because whatever you put on the foreground will show all the time the same as the button for the the quiz so we got this with the the small images now I've got panel one as empty so there is a delay when you first open the um, the page and then you've got one two three four and then back to the foreground there and then here I've got this slider that's the panel one so there's nothing that's what's that's what's showing initially and then when you press the the button to enter the quiz it opens up this uh, panel two and then that's the foreground where it's showing the button to open the uh, the quiz if we select the slider right click and edit uh, you can see that this slider is from right to left and a panel display of 10,000 which is um, 10 seconds before it moves to the next panel and here are the panels got the first panel second third fourth and then on the foreground I've got the the other nesting uh, panels so that's that's the uh, that's that one uh, the small slider here that's set up exactly the same way and this one here is a scroller slider and here I've got four panels and at the moment this is set up as scroll rows four and scroll columns one and the, with this setup you've got it coming from the bottom upwards if I was to set this to one row and then one column you'll find that the, the scroll will come from right to left and then you can set up the the time that uh, is set for the each panel now to look at the the bottom slider uh, this slider is on the master page 
So open up the master page and there's the, the slider. Right click, edit slider. And you see that this one is set to date and time. You've got no other settings to change here. Um, on the panel tab, here are the, the panels that I've got in this slider. And if you select one, and you find that this one's dated the 14th and 15th, This one's 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th and 20th. So they're going to change every day at 9 o'clock. Now you might say, well, suppose I've set all these up and I've uploaded it before the the time has come well you will find that number one panel will show so you can either do one or two things you can either have a blank number one panel or an item that you don't mind showing in that in that particular place until the the change sequence starts and it's the same when you come to the end uh, of your last panel uh, time period. Um, it will show number one panel again. So you just have to decide what you want to do, what you want to show. That's I'm, that's all I'm going to show on the on the the panels, sliding panels uh, on this tutorial. I'm going to go into them um, a few at a time to show you what they, they, they look like and how you set them up uh, in other tutorials. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for looking in. Goodbye.